Using an additional six components housed within the eight to ten basic Haki core components, we can construct a Haki stair tower. Firstly, we install the landings, one at the first lift and one at the second lift. Next, we install the handrail posts into the landings. After that, we install a stair floor between the first landing and the second landing, retaining it with two spring clips, one at the top and one at the bottom. Into the handrail post, we install our handrail going up the side of the stairs. So after that, at the bottom, we install a folding guard frame, and on our next landing, we temporarily install the top end guard frame for safety. Now we're going to install the second lift. First we top up our standards, next by installing 305 ledger beams and 1655 ledgers at the end. After that, using the AGR tools, we install a 305 guard frame to the front and the 1655 guard frame to one end of the stair tower. We install the landing at the four metre level, followed by a, a two metre stair flight. Remember to remove the temporary top end guard frame that we installed earlier. Connect the handrail to the handrail post before installing it, then install it to the top landing. Now at the other end, we need to install the 1655 guard frame using the ADR tools. Now we'll need to fill in the gap between the stair tower and the scaffold. We can do this with a 305 by 230 steel deck. To complete the stair tower, we need to allow for a side exit. This has been done using a punching unit and a one metre standard. Connected into them, we use a 2210 guard frame and finally, we tow board it. And there you have your four metre high Mark II stair tower. And now, with the Hacky Mark II stair tower, we have a flush landing for a side access and egress.